Understand the family matter, no ifs, ands, or buts Not picture perfect in them pictures, but it's really us And we embrace all the love, y'all be showing trust Through the ups and downs, but it's good in front of you, know what? Keeping it real from the beginning, we've been authentic Even though baby getting big, still that is princess LJ got in the college just like I predicted Through thick and thin, it was shin, that's why she the missus And that's the man of the house, I just play my role So wipe your feet before you step foot through them doors Cause this is not your typical television show It's shin and family matters, not the wins lows, what?
Um, I do have these Elio containers. They're the stackable ones. So I put the sausage and the rice in there. And then in the smaller ones, I have my cucumber and cheese. And to like have 200 days till our next cruise. And I'm trying to make a difference in my life. A couple more days. I said 200 days. And then say a couple more days. I'm trying to make a difference in my life. So we'll see how it goes. Let's get some snacks. Sure. So just meal prepping a little bit. A little piece, a little piece, trying to get my life together. And I'm making my balls to cool off and then I gotta peel some um, oranges for me to take also for like an afternoon snack. So I'm gonna do oranges, cucumbers. Try to be like not too much processed stuff because I know I am capable of doing that and I don't wanna do that. So yeah, see y'all guys in a little bit. I bought tickets to take Vadas on a date to go see Ludacris and Janet Jackson. Oh my God. I'm so excited. We got to get dressed. It is 627. We got to get dressed because the concert starts at eight. Vadas says is on his way back from Orlando. Yes, I already told him. I'm very excited. This is my very first concert I've ever been to. I've never been to a concert. So this is my first concert ever like big concert like at an Amway Center or something like that like I've been to like jazz and the festival and shit like that but nothing like a big one so I'm super super excited um and we're gonna take y'all with us of course we can't bring the camera in there but we're gonna bring our phones and hopefully get some footage I am so excited I did this on a whim and he always said I don't take him out and I'll do anything for him blah 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 well, I'm taking you on a date and then he want to complain and say, oh my God, why you want to do it here at the middle of the day and blah, 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 blah. Who cares? But I'm taking you out. So be appreciative. I'm about to get dressed. I am so excited. So. Hey, what's up, fam? Bam, I just got home, just got in the building. Wifey decided to take me somewhere, surprisingly. I didn't even know. I was out doing my thing, getting a couple of dollars from other places, you feel me? <laughs> I'm out here doing my thing, dog. And she's saying that she's trying to take me somewhere to Ludacris and Danny Jackson concert. We've never been to a concert, so we're going to take you guys along with us. We ain't going to take the camera in. We're going to show y'all little clips. Maybe we're going to use I our phone. I am using my motherfucking phone. That's oh what I'm going to do. I just said I'm going to use the motherfucking phone. Thing. So, yeah. Y'all going to see it as we see it, bro. You feel me? So, we're going to bring y'all to the concert with us. Y'all know we love y'all like fat kid, little Kate. So, we're going to take y'all in the building with us, all right? So, we're about to get dressed. We'll see y'all when we get there. All right, guys, we have made it downtown to uh, Orlando Magic Amway Center. Stick down here. Everybody's here. About to go see what to do. I'm mad at Vodis because he should have paid for parking. Sam Sam's got to get here. Without no money. Why, you, you're I'm, my I, man. I just I, got here. But I don't care. You supposed to be. What, what you mean? You got $20 just, to sell them into my... I don't sell I don't, Nah, what? boy. I don't, I don't do none of that. I don't even give a bitch my credit card. Boy. Boy, boy, boy. Fuck. That's what Zell's for. Nah, fuck that. You got I told you out. I'd sell your ass back. So Who Zell me back. So calm the fuck now. Saying calm the fuck now. I know some fucking $20. Boy, you got me fucked up. Tripping. Right now. That's why she got damn butt hurt over here. Yes. Yeah, the fuck? I don't gave you the 20 you just no, spent. <laughs> the back. fuck? Bro, you a wild girl, I'm man. Poor. I bought these tickets and I'm broke. Yeah, it's a lot, man. <laughs> I ain't broke, you ain't broke. Chill the fuck out. When you leave me, I will happily give you your shit. Are you going to take me to God, dinner? Damn, no, I ain't taking them. Give you a 20 dollars <laughs> what you crabbing about right now. The fuck? Y'all, let's get in here, man. Are you taking me to dinner? We finna get in here, y'all.
I told you we ain't even started the show yet. That was all a warm up. Cause it's very important for me to let y'all know how humble I am. And for the real ludicrous fans in here that's been with me since day one, just in case you forgot. It's a lot of them too. It's a lot of them. It seems like now this is the live side of the whole stadium right here. This side, what's up? Go! You're not convinced that these are real ludicrous fans? These are infamous? What are we doing? Uh, I'm not all the way 100% convinced. Okay, so what do I need to do to convince you that this place is full of oh, day one ludicrous fans, huh? Can okay, I tell you what? What? If everybody in here is ludicrous fans, I bet you they do not remember the first song you ever shot a video to. I bet you they don't know that. My first single? It came out 20 three years ago. <laughs> I guarantee you, they know my first single, and then we can start the show. Take my glasses off for this one. Right, Are you ready to be embarrassed? Okay, I need to see this one now. Watch this. Yeah, Ain't nobody fucking with me when it comes to getting lyrical, murder in the rap, or killing beats, nigga. Kill. I'm cinematic, making everybody panic. I be busting like a fully automatic kill the heat, nigga. Kill. We can battle in the Phantom in Atlanta, the Roman in Minnesota, or the Arizona streets, nigga. Kill. They taking all these offensive lines. I snap back. This the quarterback sneak, nigga. Kill. One time for the sneak. This is over. Yeah, fuck boy, say my name. Hey. Anybody coming at me, know I never back down. Killing the rappers, my claim to fame. Hey. You lame. Hey. And my blows will explode. Hey. And he holds even on a nigga worse day. They say you looted on woman no more. Hell no, nah, I'm as hungry as the first day, motherfucker. <laughs> As you saw, everything was awesome last night, was a blast. I still got my goddamn clothes on that I had on from last night. We were so tired. Got home and jumped straight in the fucking bed. Can't even lie, bro. Gotta watch those sheets, cause you know, it was around a lot of fucking people coughing and shit. So, gotta get them germs off the clothes. I, you know, I gotta watch those, you feel what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, it was a blast, man. It was a wonderful date for me and wifey to get out without the kids, you feel me? You know, MJ gave us a goddamn run for our money that we left her, but. You know, we gotta still date too. You feel me? We gotta keep our shit spicy. You know what I mean? So that's what we did. Everything went wonderful. Now it's back to regular schedule program and I just booked another fucking party, y'all. Two, actually. I booked one while we was at the concert, turned around and booked one this morning before talking to you guys. So business is good, in case y'all wondering. You know what I mean? That's what it is. God bless y'all. God's blessing us. And I'm gonna talk to y'all in a minute after I pull myself together, all right? What's up, guys? I just got home, and my wife surprised me with a nice feast that you cooked, or no? No, yeah, I cooked it. She said she cooked it. I don't really know, but this is what she got me, y'all. Right, Did you so even cook this? <laughs> this is what I came home to on the bed. Yeah, now, this is some wifey office. shit right here. <laughs> You threw it away. You need to do this more you got often. It from out back. <laughs> she Ubered it. You Ubered this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you door dashed me this shit, bro. Yeah. She Ubered it. She door dashed it. She didn't even go get it. The next time I go get you a burger. Oh my God. Bro, she got me a burger and fries and she got you that food on that plate. <laughs> Before you even got here, I saw her put it every single last bit of everything. From the box on that plate, I feel like she cooked it. I cooked it. You're here. You really? Put this on my outfit. You don't even know how to cook. You don't even know how to cook lobster. You know how to cook lobster. No, you don't. You don't even know how to cook crabs. I don't know how to cook lobster. No, you don't. Oh my god. <laughs> Dang, baby, I thought you were the real MVP. You, you tricked me. You got it on the plate, right? 
So it doesn't matter where it came from, technically. Yeah. Yes, you're right. So you guys, I'm about to eat. Sorry I didn't get back with you guys from earlier, but I was out getting another dollar from another source of income type shit I'm on. So I'm about to eat and take a shower and go to sleep. Also, about the concert shit I want to tell y'all, that was Janet Jackson's last performance, they say. So that was legendary for us to see her perform her last and final performance, bro. Before she tap out. And we were there to see it. Ludacris too, that probably was his last time. But we know for a fact it was Janet Jackson's last time because as y'all know, she's 56 years old. The mood's gonna get slower and slower, bro. She was on point last night, but the Daddy. mood's gonna get slower. Daddy, just like this one. But, right. <laughs> just like genuine moves. The bitches don't hit no more, bro. They don't hit no more. You we feel me? So, glad we was in attendance, boy, for that, we though. So, we got girl. something to remember her by a moment for us and from an icon in really? Janet Jackson. Yeah. So, shout out to her. Shout Wait. out to Luda. We're going to see y'all tomorrow, bro. Yes, she got Good morning, fam. Just woke up. We have a party today, and I actually booked the party for tomorrow while I was at work yesterday. So we got two parties back to back this weekend, going into the weekday of the event that we have at a restaurant on Monday. So you guys, it's, it's, it's really real. So without further ado, let's go get to work, you guys. I ran up a check, I might do it again Enemies close, had me thinking they're friends Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend If I do it once, I do it again Add it up, add it up. bankroll, bankroll. Euro. Euro, peso, peso. Add, it up. add it up I'm just doing me, everything is on me Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up.
I like so dumb. Got your ass. I'm gonna tell Trout you're asleep too. I'm tired. <laughs> I thought you was more on the lawn. I'm back too, baby. You gonna come watch me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You gonna go sleep? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you guys, we are back from our event. It was a great one, as you guys saw. Now we gotta hit that reset button and get ready for the fucking birthday party tomorrow. So, I'm about to go cut the grass. I don't slack on my goddamn home duties because I'm out there doing shit in the streets with the business. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and get this grass cutting in real quick before tomorrow's event because I know I ain't going to be able to get it in. You feel what I'm saying? So I'll be back with y'all tonight. See what we're cooking. Baby, we're cooking tonight. No, it's a fight. Oh, yeah, the fight tonight. Mm -hmm. We got to watch uh, Javante Davis and so. Ryan Garcia fight tonight on pay per view or uh, Showtime. One on. But yeah, we're gonna get some wings tonight. Okay. So we're gonna be back with y'all when the fight about to start. Y'all know we can't show it because we're gonna go to jail if we show y'all. Yeah, you feel what I'm We always go to jail fucking with y'all. So we ain't going to jail no more. We feel we can't do that commissary bit, eating butter and noodles. You can't do it. So we ain't gonna do it this time. We just gonna in and out y'all ass. You feel what I'm saying? In and out. You feel me? So that being said, we're gonna be back with y'all in a couple hours. So you guys, I'm finally done. As you can see, I parked the cars across the street. My grass was looking hideous, bro. But it's all done. Got to grow back in, you know, Florida. Got to grow back in. Haven't rained in a while, so grass got to die. Got to put some fertilizer down though. As you guys can see, I finished grass have y'all to know that i found like 10 motherfucking cigarette butts in my motherfucking yard now if y'all watch our youtube and you be throwing fucking cigarette butts in my motherfucking yard when i catch up and slap your motherfucking lips off your face and then that will let them that, bring the lips to y'all and show y'all on youtube that i was motherfucking playing motherfucker let, let me catch y'all smoking popes got there be inflicting them motherfuckers look you know how they flick them and inflict the bitches in my motherfucking yard boy i'm gonna slap the motherfucking lips off your face and I'm coming and I'm gonna prove it to y'all that I slapped the motherfuckers off. That's crazy, bro. I found like 10 cigarette butts in my motherfucking grass and I don't even motherfucking smoke. You feel me? Like, that's crazy, bro. Like, don't do that shit. That's probably why my grass dying out there. You know we gotta blame it on something. That's probably why my grass dying. Cause motherfucking flicking cigarette butts in my motherfucking yard, killing my grass. The fuck? Shit. Let me tell y'all this. I was cutting the grass, right? Boom. So you know my bag got full of grass, you feel me? Cause I put the bag on there so it could go in the fucking bag or whatever the case may be so it'll be all in my yard or whatever. Cause I hate grass clippings. So I, I have my bag on there to catch everything. So boom, after it was full, I went and you know, our yard in the back. And to have y'all know, we have extra yard, you feel me, beyond our fence because um, that's what uh, our blueprint says. And they didn't go far back with the fence because it's a slope right there. So, you know, you can't put the fucking fence on the slope. <laughs> it was there. The fence going to fall back sooner or later. So, they didn't do that. So, they brought it up some um, before the slope. So, you know, we got an extra four yards behind us. And then it's another gate that separates the other people that's on the other side. You feel what I'm saying? So, we got four yards, then their fence. Boom. So, I'm saying that to say this, that when I, my bag was full, right? Boom. So, I picked shit up, take it off. I pick the shit up, I throw it over the gate, I dump, because I, keep in mind now, I ain't dumping in nobody else's yard, so they say, oh, you dumped it in their yard, woo woo No, I didn't. What I'm trying to tell y'all is that, that's our yard still, you hear me? Got four more extra yards, so I know that's my shit. So, I'm going to dump my grass clippings on that shit, that's what I'm thinking. So, that's what I do. I dump the shit on the boom. So, I, I put it back, back on, I go to cut my yard again. So, I go back, down, come back up, and as I'm coming up, I see the grass get chucked back over the fence. Bitch, I'm like, who the fuck just did that? <laughs> That's what I said. Who the fuck just did that? I stopped my lawnmower. And when I went up to the gate and I jumped up on the gate and pulled up, I ain't seen no motherfucker about it because it's a ditch right there. You feel me? And it's a bunch of wood. So I'm thinking the motherfucker hiding under the debris, bitch. Like, bitch. Like, because he, he did it. When soon as he chucked it over or whoever chucked the shit over, I saw the shit come over back over the gate. Like a bitch threw it over like... Bro, I know damn well nobody had jumped the gate on their side to be in that ditch and throw that shit back over and run that fast without me hearing them in the woods, in the debris or whatever. Because it's like, like I said, it's debris behind us. So I would have heard the fucking trees cracking and shit if you was running through that bit after you threw the shit back over my gate. You feel what I'm saying? So, boom, I'm running to the gate like I jaw, like a light jaw, boom. And I leaped up on the gate, boom, hold up, like, you feel me? Looking down there like, bro, who the fuck? 
feel me? I just see shit. Debris like laying around, so I'm thinking a bit hiding under the shit. You feel me? Like, bit playing games with me, bro. So I stood there for a minute. I hold up. You feel me? Arms getting weak though, cause I'm, you feel me? I'm, I'm holding on, bitch, and I'm tired already. So I'm like, uh, stayed up for about a good 20 seconds just to see if a bitch gonna come from under the debris, hide this shit, or I'ma see a bitch. You feel me? Like, I'm making them think I go, and I'm quiet as fuck, like a ninja. But the nigga didn't come out, or whoever threw the shit didn't come out, bro. So I don't know who the fuck threw the shit. But somebody threw that bitch cut. I called Shed like, Shed, come here. You feel me? I'm telling Shed to come out the door to see this shit. Like, somebody come look at it. Like, <laughs> like she finna see who the fuck did it. So I'm uh, like, bruh, somebody just threw grass back over our fence after I put the grass over the fence out the motherfucking bag. You feel me? I thought they felt like it was disrespectful, but whatever the case may be, it's still my yard. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said, I got four more yards of yard behind my fence. You feel what I'm saying? So... Long story short, we ain't see nobody. You feel what I'm saying? I picked Shannon up, look over the gate, and see what her eyes can see, and we didn't see nobody. You feel what I'm saying? So, I don't know who the fuck threw that grass back over. Like, immediately after I threw that bitch over, bro, they been threw that bitch back. Like, it's some paranormal activity shit going on, bro. I don't really know. But that was strange as fuck. Like, bitch, bitch, a motherfucking ninja bitch did that. <laughs> who the fuck just threw this shit back across the motherfucking gate, bro? Like, bro, that's crazy. No, they, I don't know, bro, but I had to hurry up and cut the grass at that point because I'm like, man, I need my fire on me. I ain't got my fire. You feel what I'm saying? So I don't know what the fuck going on right now, but I ain't liking it. You feel what I'm saying? So let me hurry up and cut the motherfucking grass and put this fire on my hip, cuz. <laughs> you feel me? I don't know what kind of goddamn predator or what the fuck behind the motherfucking gate in them bushes, but, bitch, I'm going to shoot that shit. That shit will jump out of there, bro. I don't know. You feel what I'm saying? So. And that was that, bro. I finished cutting the yard, as y'all saw, and that shit, like, you feel me? That shit freaked me the fuck out. So, you know, I finished the grass, I'm good, I'm happy now. You feel me? I let that bitch get too tall, like, children of the corn, bitch. That bitch was tall as fuck, bro. That's a tall ass grass. And then the other day, the goddamn Spanish people, it was two of the guys. They gonna ask me who the fuck I'm going for. Like, bro, what the fuck y'all gonna jump me if I say goddamn Davis? You know I'm going for the black man. <laughs> but y'all asking me, like, y'all gonna whoop my ass if I say that's who I'm going for. You feel me? Because both of y'all are Spanish and the guy he fighting is Spanish. Like, bro, hey, racist or nothing, but of course I'm going for Javante Davis. He's the motherfucking heavyweight champion, bro. And he's knocking motherfuckers out left to right. You feel me? Don't think goddamn Speedy Gonzalez finna knock him out, aka Ryan Garcia. You feel me? He good. It's gonna be a good one, but it's gonna be a good loss. You're gonna have to take the L, because Javante Davis gonna really, like, put that boy out. So, I'm finna watch the fight soon. Man, I'm tired, though. I'm about to go ahead and shower and shit and go pick up these wings real quick that Shan ordered for the fight. So we're going to go get these wings real quick and we're going to fuck back with y'all once the fight come on. We just got back. We're eating wings. And we're about to just eat and watch the fight. We'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, we appreciate y'all for appreciating us. See y'all in the next vlog. Bye.